Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to increase your computer skills by teaching you 10 keyboard shortcuts that all computer users should know. Now some of these you may already know and that's okay. It's always good to get a refresher and I hope there's a few on the list that you didn't know and you'll know after the video. Now if you know all 10, go ahead and tell us down in the comments and we'll give you the title of keyboard master, right? A real tech wizard almost, a key keyboard wizard if you will. So please comment down below whether you knew all of them or if you learned a few. And while you're down there, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. Let's check out those 10 keyboard shortcuts, come on. All right, so starting off with number one is one I use every day. You might too, the famous copy text keyboard shortcut, which is control plus C, right? So that's the copy text. So I have the sample text here, I'm gonna copy. Now that we have that copied, might as well talk about the second shortcut on the list, the paste shortcut, control V, another one of my favorites. Use it quite often, so. Control C will copy, Control V will paste. How do we delete? Well, that's Control X. So Control X will delete your text or cut it, right, is the proper term. And then Control P will print it out. A lot of people forget that Control P is Control Print, not Control Paste. So they'll, they'll copy with Control plus C. They'll forget it's Control V to paste because Control plus P, right? That P mean paste, right, makes sense. Well, no, it's Control C to, to copy, Control V to paste, Control X to delete, and then Control P will print things out for you, right? Control P print also makes sense. Now, those are those are some of the base, really, really basic ones. Let's go over some of the Windows key shortcuts. That's the key that looks like this, right? So this key plus other keys will do lots of things. Let's talk about some of those things. One of the ones that I use frequently is Windows key plus E. So Windows key plus E gets you to File Explorer, right? Just remember the E, Explorer, File Explorer. And this is your file directory, right? So this is where you can find your library folders, like the downloads, the pictures, and document folders amongst everything else that is on your system. So very useful, Windows key and E. Next, we'll get to the settings, right? Have you ever wondered, man, I wish there was a, a shortcut to get settings open? Well, there is. Windows key and I is your shortcut for settings, right? We all know inside the settings, so many handy things, so many things we might need. So that's an important one to remember. Windows key and I is your shortcut to your settings. Now there's another settings shortcut, which is for your quick settings. This sidebar that runs here on the side in Windows, on Windows 10 and 11. So this is Windows key and A. So if you hit Windows key and A, you got this little sidebar that pops out. You've got things like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and airplane mode settings in here. It also has a shortcut to the notifications here, so you can control that as well. Now, if you find yourself getting technical or you need to find something on your PC quick without having to go look for it, the Windows key and R will be your best friend. So you can hit Windows key and R and pull up your run command. And this will give you the ability to open programs, documents, and internet resources without having to go find them as long as you know the proper path names. Now, the last one is one many people were, I think will find useful and um, a lot of people don't know about it. And that's Windows key and D, which is a shortcut to your desktop, right? So have you ever wondered, oh my gosh, I have too much open. I don't wanna have to go through here minimizing everything down. I just wanna get to my desktop. Windows key and D will do that for you. It'll just minimize everything right down and then you hit it again, everything comes right back up. Windows key and M is a similar function. The M stands for minimize. So it's Windows key M, everything minimizes. Problem is, you hit it again, things don't come back out. It's only one way, they all minimize down. But essentially they do the same thing, right? Windows key D and Windows key, key M will put everything on your screen down into your taskbar so you don't have to stare at it. Or maybe, you know, that might be helpful if you need to like get somewhere and have too much open. I, I think we've all been there. So Windows key D, Windows key M, great to, to add to the arsenal. Okay, well that's it for the 10 keyboard shortcuts that every Windows user should know. And if you didn't know them, well now you do. Again, before you go, please hit the like and the subscribe buttons below as this will help us reach out to other computer users who, who might not know these 10 uh, keyboard shortcuts. So very important, please on your way out, hit the like and the subscribe below. And I hope everyone learned something from this and you're all keyboard masters now. Thank you everyone and have a great day. We'll see you on the next one.